Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like the content. Subscribe and tap that notification bell. Good morning. Remember what I said about the combines? Well, we're not there yet. We had a mild change of plans. It's hoping to get the combines out and service them, grease them up. But instead, we're going to haul some corn over here. I thought we were going to haul some beans today. But first, we are going to start cleaning out the big bed. The big bed is down in the suite. Putting all the grain out of the four bins into number two. Try to blend it and mix it all up a little bit. Because we've got a little bit wetter corn in that bin, a little bit wetter corn in that bin, and dry corn in the other two bins. That's why we're going to put them all into one. And go from there. Right now, BJ's engaging the power sweep. But he's trying to. Shut this thing off first. Dad's rocking the jorts. Check out the patch jobs right there. There. If you missed yesterday's video, the one before that, or however many before that, this auger was plugged. We had to cut two holes in it. Go! Power sweep's running. That's a relief. First time this bin's been cleaned out because it's a, a new bin. Now we are also transferring grain out of this bin while we're transferring grain out of this big bin into that middle bin. So, trickling grain out everywhere. Mixing her up. That's a big sweep. Right, I'm going to go up and check this bin, see how full it is. It's getting pretty low, but uh, need, need a number. Need, need an idea. With how much is in there? Well, I can't see a freaking thing. So a little bit about all these pipes we got going on. These three pipes here are out of the dryer. So that'd be dry corn in the fall going to these three bins. Those pipes up overhead are out of the leg. So right now we are transferring corn out of that bin into that drag right there. Going up the leg, down this pipe into this bin. So we're cleaning this out in between loads. So Larry just got back, so we've got to shut the leg down so we can load him out. And then once he heads to town, we will return. Yeah, Larry's loaded, so back in the gigantic oven we go. It's like a sweat box in there. Luckily, it's not super hot yet. BJ's changing the consigner up top, and then our push button for those, those bins are still out there on the bins for now. So, now come over here and turn on the number one jump. And he's turning on the unloader. We're gonna trickle out of this bin. This one's not running real well, so hopefully it'll trickle. Yep, it's not running. Going back and forth, trying to bust it loose, trying to get something moving. Something coming through, but not much. We're kind of getting close to the door on this. But... Well, maybe we're a ring above the door. George, what in the heck happened? <laughs> the bird pooped on. Good God, that's the dirtiest I've ever seen this truck. 
Oh man, it looks like. Lunch with George is over. We teased him so much about his truck being covered in bird crap, we had to go through the car wash after we ate lunch. Back to work. Looks like it's raining over there. It figures, because I drove this here. Every time I drive this over here, it rains. We're going to have to remember that come August. Yep, a little bit of rain. I guess we're not going to try the wheat tomorrow now. Wonderful. Never fails. Last year we were designing this place, we designed everything to drain through here under the pit and out to a drain on the other side. And it actually looks like it's working. See the current going right through there. In theory, that was going to keep under the pit cleaned out, kind of flush the bees wings out. I don't know if it works or not. Right over here is where it goes. So we have a drain right there. Looks like it's taking us a good old sweet time to get out of here. You can see the storm over there. We got blue skies coming, so I think it's over. But man, it, it dumped a quick quarter inch probably. Still blending. Well, Larry just called and the tarp is stuck on the black truck. It will not unroll, so uh, road trip. All right, we got her untarped. But we didn't get the tarp fixed. We still had the crank as a backup, so uh, we used the hand crank. Electric tarp's nice, but this particular truck just gave us a lot of fits, so I think we're gonna do some wiring work on it. Because we've had two different electric tarps on it and it's messed up with both of them. Uh, the other truck has an electric tarp and it's never really gave us any problems, ever. All right, now we're gonna hook, Larry's just pulling back in. We're gonna hook the power source off that truck to this white trailer has the same tarp system and we're just going to see if the truck will unroll that tarp kind of just trying to troubleshoot it a little bit then we would at least know that our problem is in the trailer and not the truck doesn't work on that one well, so it ain't this cord I guess we don't have to replace it loading another one for the morning because they're closed now productive day it's a little dusty this isn't bad as long as you got a breeze it just blows it right out of this wind tunnel but when there's no air moving it sucks in here but this truck's loaded BJ just went and uh, shut the bin loader off Eventually that will be out here. But anyways, by the time he does that, gets over there, what's left in the system will uh, fill the last pull up. So everything is shut off, but we're just emptying out the leg. That's, uh, that's a decent amount of grain. And we're gonna shut the leg down for the night. Good morning, folks. Back to cleaning out bins. Uh, right now we're going to the other farm. We're going to clean out a bin so that we can dry weed if we have to. So that's the plan for now. Right now we're loading out of this bin. We don't need a leg to load out of this bin. We've got to vacuum out some water out of the unloaders to use the leg. And then we've got to clean out the leg boot before we use the leg again. And then we'll be pulling grain out of that far bin over there. That bin and this bin are the only two that have corn over here and they're both down to the sweet. Now you guys are in for a real treat. Jungle George over there is helping us today. That is some nasty water. So we always fight water over here at this drain facility. There's an older system, the legs down in a hole. This hole always fills with water. The unload auger always is full of water, which is why in the new drain system we built everything above the ground. And we don't have to worry about water near as bad. All right, so we haven't been over here to haul grain in a couple months. And I found a new little friend. I think he's been here for a while.
Good news is the mixture of beans and corn, so the smell is just fantastic. Just think we'll go get a nice big bean burrito right after this. How would you describe the smell? Like it kind of reminds me of like the foulest pig crap I've ever smelled in my life. But, the only way I can describe the smell is please turn the vacuum cleaner off so I get this over with. You know, a lot of people ask me, do you like working with your brother? Are you glad he's back? Yeah, for the most part. But right now, I'm probably the happiest I've ever been that he's farming with us again. What have you been doing? Jeez, you're dirty. You smell like you're old in a septic tank. Probably been cleaner. I believe he said earlier that he is now overqualified to pump septic tanks. All right, we're running grain through our stuff. Sounds like it's going to come out. That's a huge relief. I'm really happy for that. I was really afraid we were going to be up in there beating on our pipe. If you're new to the channel, that holding bin needs a new pipe in it that is scheduled. It just hasn't happened yet. We've been fighting that pipe out of that holding bin for this loadout for a couple of years now. And I was really afraid we were going to be up there trying to unplug it. We might still be up there for the end of the day, but we're not starting the day off that way, so that's good. Time to sweep. Here we have the experienced grain bin cleaner outer. And there's the new guy sitting in the sun on break. It's wind right here. The sun feels a heck of a lot better than the in there. Break's over, back to work. The real question is going to be, is it going to come out of this pipe now? See, we were running it straight from the bin, straight through the pipe, but then we put some in the holding bin. Fingers crossed. Yep. All right, Larry's loaded. Uh, the bin's pretty well cleaned out, so that's it for the bin cleaning for the day. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you like what you've seen, and uh, see you in the next one.